You guys would think, ow. Ah, uh, I think I caught a bee in my jacket. Hello! Good morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, wherever you are in the world. It's good to see you. How have you been? I am taking my lunch break right now and running some errands. I can't tell you how, how much more exciting running errands are on two wheels. <laughs> but so much rather take my bike to go do crap I don't want to do. And then it makes me think I want to do it because I want to ride. I'm a baby, man. I am such a big baby. You guys would think, ow. Dude, I literally just caught. Ah, sh I think I caught a bee in my jacket. Let's see here. man I don't know what it is but it is stinging that is so weird I don't know if you can see it I just uh I think I just got stung Ironically, that's the first time it's happened this uh, this year. I get stung every single year riding. Yeah, definitely might be time to invest in some gauntlet gloves. Ugh. I just don't like wearing them in the winter or in the summer because it gets so hot. Yeah, I got stung. I can see it welling up. <sighs> Crazy, dude. Wear full gear, they said. I don't think it was a bee. I think it was a... I, I honestly don't know what it was. I don't see a stinger or anything. Damn, I cannot believe that happened. So much. Well, it started out as a good day. Anyway, uh, what I was actually about to say before I was so rudely interrupted by Mother Nature shooting down my sleeve, I was saying I'm a big baby. And I mean, that goes to show I'm a big baby. I Actually, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'll probably have to go home and like take some Benadryl or something. But anyway, I had like for medical reasons I had like a mole removed TMI but I had a mole removed on the back of my neck totally fine not nothing bad it was just a mole that I want I needed gone and uh, so I had it removed and it's still in the healing process but now every time I like turn my neck I'm like oh ow ow that hurts that hurts and you would think for somebody with as many tattoos as I have that a little surface wound like that is nothing but it just really makes you realize how much you take for granted being in great physical health. It's like that joke online where, uh, and now I'm about to sneeze, so I can't even, uh, can't even say the joke. But it's like that joke online where it's like, every time I'm like trying to sleep with a stuffy nose, it makes me realize how much I take for granted just breathing normally. That, I really wonder what that could have been. It, I, at first I thought it was like a rock, and then I know it like kept stinging and I was like, man, is that the after effects of being hit by a rock? But then it just like, and then it started moving around. I was like, oh, there's something in my sleeve. <laughs> but it doesn't look like a typical bee sting. I have multiple welts. So I wonder, I don't know insects. So I, I just wonder what it could have been. I'm very fortunate. I had an area that I could safely pull over. I'm gonna tell you what, I went riding up a, a really nice windy country highway a couple weeks ago and it had me actually like concerned 
because there was nowhere to just safely pull over if I needed to. Like, no matter what, you were in the line of traffic, and there was a lot of blind corners on this road, so as much as those roads are lovely to ride and explore, I, uh, I tend to plan for the unexpected. Come on, buddy. I know you, you got a lot in there, but dude, we're doing 30 miles an hour in a 55. I wonder what's in there. It's like an actual container. It's gonna be a not very entertaining video because all I want to do is pass this dude. We're on a flat straight surface and he still can't do the speed limit. That's absurd. located in the uh, neck of the world, neck of the woods. How is your 2020 wrapping up? I know a lot of you down in the southern hemisphere are finally starting to get some warmer weather. Spring is amongst you. Very jealous. Congratulations. We are on the opposite spectrum, staring down the barrel that is winter. But into all of my friends out west, I hope you guys are doing okay with these fires, man. The photos online have been absolutely terrifying. It breaks my heart. My errands that I'm running right now, I'm actually running to my P.O. box. I think I have some things to pick up there and I have some mail that I need to send. And then like just literally just the cherry on top of the cake was I got summoned for jury duty. <laughs> 31 years old and I've never been summoned for jury duty except for the year that there's a global pandemic. Which is like awesome. So I have to go mail back in the court summons for that and go back to work. I'm ready for the weekend. Some good coffee, some good food. Oh, the food. I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I am a yo-yoer. I am a yo-yo weight gainer and loser because I have a very unhealthy relationship with food. <laughs> so I... I'm like the opposite of most people who are like technically yo-yoers. So I think most people that gain weight tend to do it in the winter months during the holidays when you're home with family and friends and cooking and baking and feasting and just like good old merriment. For me, I gain weight in the summertime. I just want to be outside all the time with my friends, having cookouts, bonfires, camping, grilling, drinking sitting on the patios like yeah summertime is my uh there's no such thing as a summer body in my life my summer body is it is what it is but yeah I put these uh these jeans on that fit me perfectly a couple of months ago and woo, buddy, a little tight a little tight I love that saying where it's like it's all fun and games until your jeans don't fit anymore I'm like damn that's too real that's not funny <laughs> So I am very much looking forward to being able to start getting, I, I mean, like I've talked about it a lot and I don't want to talk about diets and weight loss and stuff with you guys, but just in case it helps anyone else in the world, like I, this really, really helped me. It was a couple years ago when I first discovered the keto diet, for sure thought it was a fad, thought it was fake, thought it was the most unhealthy thing in the world because it's, it goes against everything that the American system raises you to believe. So. When I started actually doing my research into it, realizing like, oh, you mean, wait, you mean you're telling us to eat as closely as possible the way we used to eat for hundreds of thousands of years, you know, before agriculture, before processed foods and all that stuff. I mean, I still eat processed foods, dairy. God, if I could get away from dairy, I'd be so healthy. <laughs> so when I discovered the keto diet, I gave it a try and I realized it is not a diet. It actually is a lifestyle. You can genuinely eat like as much as you want. I don't count calories on this diet. I don't do anything. I just eat as wholesome foods as I can get my hands on. That means like real vegetables, real whole meats, fish, just stuff like that. Good fats. I learned to love avocado and avocado oil, all of that stuff. So I, I really taught me how to cook and it really taught me how to control portions and how to read my body. I think that was the biggest thing I've had to 
learn from this experience is it taught me how to read my body. And once you are actually in the state of ketosis, it's so easy. It's like this clarity that I've never experienced before. I remember texting my mom. This was a couple years ago, but as soon as I realized I was actually in a state of ketosis and that's where your body runs on ketones instead of glucose. It's been so long since I've actually like read up on the science of this, but basically it's just your body is running off of a different fuel instead of sugar and glucose. But I remember the very first time I realized I was in ketosis, there was just this like wave of clarity and almost happiness. Oh my God, I think whatever flew into my sleeve is now in my back. There's something in my jacket. Yep, oh, there's something in my jacket. It's stinging me. Okay, I'm gonna pop off at the post office and I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> but yeah, I got a couple packages in my PO box. So I'm gonna go home and open those and then get back to work. It took me a little longer in there than I anticipated, but I always like stopping and talking to people. But I'm, if I can remember correctly, whatever I was talking about before I went to the post office is essentially I'm excited for uh, my structure, my rigidity, my food consumption, consumption, consumption. I'm excited to get back on my diet. And I don't mean that in a superficial way. I'm not excited to like lose weight again or something. I genuinely, genuinely, I just feel so much better. And that shouldn't be a surprise. Oh, you eat natural, organic, whole foods and vegetables and you feel good? Ah, science. Anyway, I, I need to buckle down, you guys. I owe you guys a lot of videos that I've talked about I want to create lately. I keep getting asked every single day about how my wild ass seat cushion did on my ride down to Florida and stuff like that. I have got to do the gear review for the ride to Florida. It just hasn't, hasn't, man, English, speaking real well today. I haven't been stagnant enough to really kind of get my thoughts together. I've just been go, 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 go every single day. So I owe you guys that. If there's anything else you would like to see on this channel in the next few weeks or months, let me know. Because honestly, I'm just riding, I'm having fun, I'm recording, and uh, that's it. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jess, and I make motorcycle-related content, aka Her Two Wheels. It would be super cool if you hit that little subscribe button, hung around with me. But until the next video, I appreciate you for watching this one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until the next one, you guys be good and I'll see you later. <laughs>